I either got them sold to Molly a smoke and a flashbang. And Dust, you might oh, actually please. get your dream scenario. Please. And in the pistol as well, James. Please. Seriously? Please. I can't. I need it. No! No! <laughs> Man, what? That's so anticlimactic. Actually really smart to jump over there as well in case there was a player up close just as that, but your Kinder will be mulling and suppressing down Brocky. In the meanwhile, though, Sanji, though, has also gone down to the hands of Rain, and Ikinda, who was boasted up, is doing significant damage. 2v3 in favor of VP. And the three remaining CTs are all the wrong side of the site. As far as FaZe are concerned, P250 tries to claim some heads. Caldera tries to line them up with the Glock and knock them back down again. But the bomb is in such a tentative, tenuous position. It's not looking good for the Brazilian. He still has time on his side for the time being, but he's hoping that one of these CTs overextends. I don't even think Kicker was overextending. He was just watching the angle, instantly got his head perforated. And now Colzera does have a brief window to get back into this round with. A 3K for Yakinda as he tries to pick up a fourth all the way from Pop Dog, but now Colzera closes the noose onto Buster, and at this kind of range, he may even clutch. He's got the HP advantage. Time is still running away from the Brazilian, but the scalp that's brokey, but it just glances his arm. So he's tagged down to 44. Buster now getting up close. The smoke is clear to Colzera. We'll be checking his angles, and he's not slowing down the pace from the pistol round. Picking up the slack, Carrigan sees the shadow, but it betrays him. No. Pepper springs in for two, and Sanji with the white swing for Mass picks up two of his own. It's down to Caldera for another clutch, but even by his immortal, he is indeed doing exactly what I'm talking about. They're using utility to choke phase, but they're trying to explode through anyway. Yeah, try and just plunder through the smokes, the flashes, the mollies. You can hear as flesh burns and singes away from main, but Caldera still able to put his body. With the AK to use, still alive. Three players left, but two of them below 20 HP. And he's been in the thick of all of the action. Through the trials and tribulations, Ooh. the ups and the downs. There's a minute 10 left, but he may just about to get flagged from Buster, who will get the shot down. There was aggression from FaZe, which I like. Doesn't come to the site. Oh, it's going to be so much damage they put to that Molotov, but actually, two of them bypass it mo for the most part, only taking one tick as opposed to more. It does keep Carrigan going away from the rest of the team. The bomb's been spilled out, and they just get skewered. Skewered by M4s, skewered by Orps. It's a f and that's been the main issue for me. They need someone to take on that entry role and just have a lot of success while doing it. Molly's been put down, Twist decides he's the man to push out first to take point, and it will be a post-plant. Jane gets flashed, that may survive. From Rain's perspective, just a few more moments, but the smoke is starting to fade. It's starting to dissipate. Sanji's now coming in with the M4, but Carrigan stands his ground and lays waste to it. Kinda picks up the slack, gets the headshot onto Rain, but it's the M4 as opposed to the AK, so he comes out worse for wear. And Jane decides he needs to piece out of there. A 1v4, understandably, but I don't think he's allowed the opportunity to save because Cold Zero is in perfect position. Hey guys, wanna get some skins for free? Then go check out Go Cases. Simply download the app from the market, complete easy gaming tasks, and earn coins. Then use those coins to open a case you want. And which other skin you have unboxed. You don't need to log in with your Steam account. You simply paste your trade off link and get the skin in a few minutes. Don't forget to use my code VLD to get your bonus coins. Link to the app in the description below. Is this going to be aggression again? This time it's the full five man roster though that is just charging towards VP. Can't quite catch them yet as the smokes are still in place. Faking the bomb, trying to draw the CTs out into the open. It's a one for one exchange. More HP has been lost though on the face side of things with Carrigan down to 39. Still yet to get the plant down. Still being careful. And treading lightly on the side, Coldzera fakes it again, anticipating that maybe Pop Dog will get pushed into. But it's actually a long con, a long flank from Kickhurt, who's going all the way round back towards main side. They've lost another player, but it will be a post plant as Buster comes in with the AWP, shutting down Carrigan in the process. Coldzera in yet another clutch situation alongside the youngster of Brokey. He has his eyes set towards Ivy. If Buster peeks out again, could have him shut down. But all the emphasis now is spun around on the CTs, but in the blink of an eye. Already had a final game ahead of Vita earlier this year. They have been so on fire. Jame with the time peaking. Cold Zara is not going to be happy about that one, but at least Jame has been laid down from rain. Gets the avenging frag for the Brazilian. 
And now they look to pivot in towards the side. Taker gets the molly down. Lots of damage. Smoke goes in and extinguishes the molly. And you better believe that FaZe will have a good idea as to this coming in, but they may not anticipate the double crunch from Catwalk. Sanji now shows his hand at the same time of Yakinda. And FaZe are being executed where they stand. Twist shut down in the back from Buster. Bomb should make its way in. Kicker getting up to Cloud. But I like how FaZe are pushing deep into the yard. They're not just going to give up close, but now that flank is going to disrupt everything. Now they can't really hold these four positions as comfortably. They have lost so many post plants so far, face. Three or four at least off the top of my head, and most of them winnable situations. Is this going to be yet another one? Damage distributed between the two teams. Twist and Brody taking a lot, but so is Yakinda. Twist now holds his ground door to Sanji. Jame peeks round, gets the success onto Twists, nullifies that threat, but the time is so very low. This bomb is just mere moments away from detonation, and the CTs need to get on top of it. James is just out in the open. They try and bait him out with the smoke on the Molotov. Going in, that flashbang actually does more harm than good to the team, mate, but he runs out of ammunition, fully blind, and that stem for the trade hands to add to the other arsenal of weaponry they had. He could not put his down range at two kills before Brokey gets the flick shot. 2v2, a round that VP should never be close in. And they can't even win from this position. Brokey tries to flick him to the frag, but misses it down onto Ivan before Carrigan picks up the slack and puts this round to bed. Too much of an arsenal, let's just be honest about it. Scout, though, and Jame could uh, maybe cause a bit of a ruckus. Same with a couple of eagles out there in play. And speaking of which... Softening up targets. Uh, Cold Zara finishes off Sanji. Two players without Kevlar is Buster uh -oh. and James. Walking in, Yakinda gets the drop on terrain. That's another weapon that could trade hands. And suddenly, this round is starting to look very grim indeed for FaZe. They need a kill. Yakinda gets his fourth. He's on for the ace. Picking up the AK, using it against the oncoming T's. And Twist is going to try and take that accolade away from him. Up close, Yakinda takes the head off. What a time to bring out an ace. From the CT side. And now UMP, couple of AK-47s. It's a real bargain bucket buy-up. But Yakindar, of course, with the aggression, feeling the confidence after that ace in the previous round, is one shy of his 20. And we're not even into the second half just yet. Buster dancing with Carrigan. A dance to the death that ends up being, and it's Carrigan on the receiving end as the Dane now has to sit with the rest of his teammates. Try and clutch this one out. Yakindar shuffles, calls there up. Well, sometimes dreams come true. Is this going to be one of those moments they haven't checked down on the schools? That probably will be the beginning of the end. Brokey spins around and gets two kills with the AK. Not anticipating the fast flag. Can you Kindar just takes off his head? That'll be it for the first. Indeed. This is a big round for FaZe to try to claw back on the scoreboard, get themselves a nice, really hot start. They're trying to fight it out in the box halls, but VG are coming out on top, quick flank though, up the ladder from Rain and company, making this one dangerous, as now it's a two on two. Bomb down in a precarious position. Is the weakened Rain on five HP, still tons of time at his disposal, flicks into action and Rain had some opportunities, but because of his low HP, maybe he just snatched at that one. And now it comes down to timing. VP, in the form of Yakinda, has to guess where Carrigan is coming from. Tries to plant the bomb safely. Gets it done. Backs away into Carrigan's embracing arms. And Carrigan will not miss. Will not give him a second. These pistols, I would have to assume. And Coldzera already with the smoke down. Knows it's going to be pressured in from multiple players. Gets one alongside Brokey, who then doubles up. Should be another post plant, considering it wasn't a full investment. This may be good enough for VP. Any kills at this stage is a nice bonus on top. And they get it from Jane. This is where Kikut's lonely Glock. Unlikely to really add too much into this round. He's not even interested in trying to fend oh, off yeah. the retake. He's out done. of that. The goal was to get the bomb down, and that happened for him. So oh, that'll give them plenty of economy. Also, here comes the push. Gap of this block of Ford Sanji. Chance to push him, but be careful you wish for. Twits with a double. Double headshot, forcing away the tease. And they needed every little slither of success they could get because the bomb is so... Very tentatively placed with 20 seconds to go. Buster's still alive. Kicker gets two of his own with the Galil. 
And now Brokey with a scout up on the side needs to start landing some shots. He's missed the first, and that may be too far gone into the round now. Finishes off the weakened kicker and still has an opportunity to maybe clutch this one out, even though he lands the no scope. Have a huge moment other than Cold Zera at the right. very start of the half. Apart from that, it's been eerily quiet. Really. Nice frag oh though from Buster dropping down the double peak and takes down Rain and loses barely anything in return. Jane on the fast wrap shuts down twists and opens up business on Ivy. And even if they don't choose to push, which they are, but can they frag out? That's the next question. They need to. It has to be. It's do or die in the situation here. This is a potential inroad back into the game, but Kickert is going to shut down Cold Zera after he gets the first brokey on the fast flank, but Jane has it. He's locked it down, providing overwatch and bodyguarding for the bomb plants. Won't be much resistance that FaZe can pose. And again, it also opens up the door for them to get that early space. You know, we've been seeing FaZe dedicate a lot of their attention to aggregating the back towards the site. They have Rain going in for the rotation over onto Ivy, but this leaves Carrigan out in the open. And it's just more of the same, falling into place. VP are looking impervious to FaZe. This has been an immaculate T-half so far. And it doesn't look like FaZe can even get their foot in the door. Yeah, they've been playing from behind pretty much the whole way through. And it's just not getting any easier. Obviously, this round, we knew they were going to put their best foot forward. We knew it was going to be labored at best. But they have to come out swinging next round or it's game over. been a lot of negatives and downturns in terms of phase. We'll see if Broken can hold his M4. He does. Only have yeah, one kill. This kid. is dicey. This is yeah. really dicey. I think they that's why Rank came over. Uh, saying they need the first kill, then Yakindar just instantly takes the head off of Carrigan. Brokey at least returns fire, but that's all it is. It's consolation kills. It's stats padding. And it'll be VP taking a 15-8 lead. Seven match points. Yeah, the problem is, is A, they didn't have utility, B, they had two ops, and C, they had to recall Rain because he had the only kit, Vince. They knew that they, if they let him flank alone and he died, their chances of having... ...is still alive, however. Sure. But it looks like they're about to explode out on B again. It does seem that way, doesn't it? All the utility seems to be lining up that direction. Bomb flash to come through. Cold trying to hold the line, but has been traded out. Now on Brokey with AWP, trying to line up maybe a little bit of a collapse, trying to catch a foot of a bomb planter. Does get kicker on the way out, at least. Three on four now. Nicely done, but they have two Molotovs, and there's no smokes in play for FaZe. Ah, yeah. The god Mollies are still in play, and there is no way to bring them down to Earth. Now, Yukindar's throwing in a Molotov first. He was stuck back on the side. He's wasting so much time right now, and the other Molotov's been tossed down as well. But here come the CTs. They're spilling onto the side. There's no Molly left. There's no Molly left. FaZe have actually clutched that round, and Dust... These small mistakes will start to build up, though, into something significant if they don't put their foot down. Cold Zera shuts out VP. The B site is his house. And he's not welcoming any guests anytime soon, but Jane may be able to gate crash the party. The bomb's in a, such a horrible spot. And although he doesn't die to the op shot, he does get tagged down. And Cold Zera finishes off what he started, and he secures a fourth cage. I feel like I'm watching Flipside Tactics 2016 right now. Yeah, it, it is very, very slow. Oh, that's that's a big miss, though, from Brokey. That's actually a hugely costly miss because that should be a plant coming down. Cold Zera doesn't want to get overzealous. He knows he's playing to win the round. Not just deny the bomb plant. He gets white swung from Kickert. And maybe FaZe, after all the hard work, the blood, the sweat, the tears, are going to just trip themselves over some hyper-aggressive plays that were unnecessary, and that will cost them dearly. Rain, though, coming down towards the site, has no idea as to where that second player is. I think now he's sussed out as a possibilities on the oil and deals with him accordingly and swiftly before Kicker tries to spin in for two. Rain will save the day, but that's four plays that go down. Ready from FaZe, like, Rain is no longer playing Pop Dog. He's playing Ebox, he's playing to the back side of the site. And VP is going to try and deal with that accordingly. Forcing that second crossfire to be established on the site. Ikinda says, screw this noise. I've got a good spawn. I'm just running straight out of lane. And I'm taking the head of Carrigan with me. One of the first times in a while you see VP assert dominance again. Get into a good position. And there is a chance for them to now close this one out. 
That's a big shot from Brokey, though, to slow things down a second. Just to make sure they don't overextend is the only real fear at this point, as we are going to see BP slip in. Kicker, huge deagle shot to get it back to even numbers, but now they've been found out. But again, maybe the defense might be stretched in. As again, we see VP pivot once more. They're trying to run interference and catch an opening. Can they find it? James is going to be so pivotal here. If he can get a goal on the twist, that could be the golden ticket. But he turns at the worst possible moment. Kickert's threaded another one, Deke. This time on terrain. The first frag was on a weakened Brokey. I suppose plant. Twist. The kind of positions you expect him to excel in, but instead he loses his head to Sanji. But he has no kit. There are kits littered around the site, but he has to go pick one up. That's valuable time in the process that will be lost. First kill goes his way. No idea as to where the last T is. And Sanji is the ace up the sleeve. Colzera still needs to get the kit. There's probably not enough time. This is looking like it's going to be all she wrote for train. And Colzera sticks on the site and Sanji wide swings him. VP, they made it a labored attempt, but they finally get it done. We'll be heading to a break, and when you join us, we'll have an interview lined up with one of the VPs.